Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to The Artist Influence. It's Brian back again with another video. Today what I want to talk about is actually something that's more pertaining to your performance. So the last couple of videos we've really been talking about, you know, conducting yourself like a business, branding yourself, finding a mentor, all of those things kind of behind the scenes stuff that you need to do um, before you even step on stage. The ways to prepare yourself for the business, for the industry. And this is uh, going to be a little bit different of a dif uh, different kind of video. I'm going to talk more about your performance and when you're on stage and actually performing and when you go to auditions and just how to approach different situations. So what I want to talk to you about today is something called playing different characters. All right. So a lot of people start dancing and they start pursuing dance professionally and they see themselves just as dancers. They see themselves just as a body with facility that a choreographer can put steps on and they can perform those steps the way the choreographer wants. But it's so much more than that. I mean, who you are as a person informs how you dance. Everything you've been through in your life, all the ups and downs, the good times, the bad times, the breakups, the heartbreaks, the losses, losing family members, all that stuff, all that stuff informs how you dance and how you perform. So you need to use that stuff. And you need to not be afraid of using your life experiences to give you an intention to dance from. So when you're playing characters, when you go into auditions, say for Lady Gaga, you're gonna be playing a way different character than if you go to an audition for Chris Brown, right? Totally different vibes, totally different characters. But there's dancers out there that can do both. And the dancers that are more versatile in the characters they can play, book more jobs and work more often. It's just as simple as that. If you can only do one or two things really, really well, then you're only gonna be able to be booked and be working on just one or two things really, really well. But if you can do a lot of different things really, really well and you don't limit yourself, you can be potentially hired for so many more opportunities than you would have even gotten. So whenever you walk into an audition, if you're, you know, just this kind of chill like me, like just a straight white guy, like likes to dance, like the Justin Timberlake songs and, you know, that kind of stuff, and you walk into an audition for a choreographer, say like Sharon Murakami, who does very feminine, very flamboyant, flashy choreography, you got to go in there with a mindset that it doesn't matter where you came from and what dance background you have. When you're there, you're a blank slate and you got to take whatever she gives you and you can't judge it. I think, I think a lot of dancers, male dancers especially, less than female dancers, females are generally more open-minded than us guys, but a lot of male dancers get kind of stuck in corners and they can only really do like one or two choreographer styles and they only take one or two people's classes and stuff and that's, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of energy because you're limiting yourself. So granted, you know, obviously if you're a guy and you're like just that more muscular, like straight male dancer, you're not going to necessarily always be dancing Sharon or Connie's type, type of stuff or even Brian Friedman's type of stuff. You might be doing different people's stuff. You might be doing fly style stuff or uh, Akamon Jones' stuff or, you know, more kind of in the vein of Chris Brown and stuff, but you still need to be able to do anything. All right? And I know I come back to these same dancers that I talk about in these videos to look up to a lot, but dancers like Misha Gabriel, dancers like um, Kenny Warmall, dancers like Eddie Morales, um, dancers like that who can do multiple different styles and do them all well. You know, like Eddie's danced for Janet, he's danced for Justin, he's danced for, I think, Brittany, he's danced for a lot, many, Mariah Carey, and each of those artists, the style of dancing is totally different, and the character is different. And Eddie's able to change the way he's dancing no matter what style he's doing. And girls are no exception to this too. The females in the industry, you guys have to be able to play way more characters than we have to be able to play. You gotta be able to play the sexy woman, right? In heels. You gotta be able to play the gritty, like, down hood girl, right? You gotta be able to play the pop star. You gotta be able to play so many different roles in the commercial dance industry that you can't limit yourself to what classes you take. So this kind of goes back to the video I was talking about before with taking diversified classes and making sure you're training with a lot of different styles because that will prepare you to take on all of these characters. Another thing that will really help, and this is kind of the central point of this video, what I really want to drive home to you guys, is as a dancer, you're an actor first. All right, so you're telling a story. You're always telling a story with your dance. You can't just look at it like steps. So if you can get into an acting class or an improv class or anything where you can learn to use your emotions and tell stories more with your body, it will benefit your dancing in the long term. I've grown so much more as a dancer just in the last six or seven months from really taking a lot of acting classes because it's helped me dive deeper into my mind. When a choreographer is teaching me something, it's not just a move anymore, it's, it's why am I doing this move? What's the intention? What am, I, what am I trying to communicate or get across? So all I'm saying to you guys is just start thinking a little deeper about what characters you're playing and maybe when you take class, pick a character to play. Pick 
okay, today I'm just gonna be really strong, I'm gonna be really hood, right? Or the next day I'm gonna be really feminine, or the next day I'm gonna be really like strong tour, just pop artist kind of character. And you give yourself different characters to play and it helps your growth over time. So that's kind of it for this video. It's not so much centered on the business aspect, it's really centered on being able to play different characters and being versatile as a performer. Because no choreographer wants a dancer who's just gonna be able to come into the room and do one or two things. Because that limits their creativity. Right? So when you have a choreographer like Rhapsody, for instance, she feeds so much off the dancer she's choreographing that if you're not giving her anything, she's not going to give you anything back. So the more you guys can dive into the characters you're playing, dive into acting, and dive into yourself as a person and what you've gone through in life, it will help your dancing and you will grow that much faster. All right? So we'll see you guys back next time for the next The Artist Influence. Talk to you guys soon.